The new hero loadout in Fortnite Save the World is one big mess for a lot of players right now. So I decided to go in here and recreate my absolute favorite soldier hero, the hero that I enjoyed playing the most up to the point where we started having crazy outlanders because it is one of the characters that you can recreate 100% as it was before and in my opinion right now probably the strongest all-round character, the Master Grenadier Ramirez. You select her and then you select the, the Keep Out Team perk. This is a perk that creates this energized energy damage kind of crazy field where the grenades lands and it increases in power for every soldier you slot into the support team. In the support team you want to have some like a survivalist bonus perk uh, like if you want to recreate the original one anyway you want to have pull the pin for a cheaper frag grenade then you want to add it like you want to stack in the abilities she had before well I'm doing that here anyway but you can customize them much more than this of course but for like this video I'm recreating the OG one so we have the rucksack so she has additional grenade charges and then we are going to be pulling in frag grenade so more damage on them and then we need a larger grenade area so of course you need to have these heroes in order to be able to do it cluster bomb but if you have these heroes you can recreate the original mgr important thing is of course that the entire game has taken a bit of a power dive a lot of the heroes now have a much lower hero ability damage modifier so a lot of abilities deal less damage all hero ability modifiers seem to have been decreased in the game which means overall less damage from abilities but for me it, it it affects nothing really i mean i may be doing less damage but after having played for a few hours today with the mgr in this version i feel as strong as i did before i am completely able to take out encampment to solo power level 100 missions and I'm talking about not going all of the encampments in an encampment mission for instance using just abilities but play as I could before which means that if you are out there and you are caught a little bit in the change of the game and you want to have an all-round character that works well that can be used in a lot of different non-based defense situations this is not a good hero to be playing if you are playing in a trap tunnel type mission because you know grenades blowing up propanes but besides that you have area damage in the shockwave you have area damage with the grenades you have the option to use your hover turrets at the same time so you have a lot of really good random and targeting area damage and you have the going commando if you <laughs> if you like that one you may want to be taking out the survivalist for instance and putting in another perk this could be getting in the uh, snowball cannon crazy things for your going commando so you actually shoot like you had a snowball launcher every 20 shot that is a pretty fun ability to have there are a lot of customization options what i included in this video is just the og stuff we can do it it is the first character that i have like found where we can do what worked before same amount of fun it feels just around as powerful again i am pretty capped power wise in the game so if we are getting 10 20 percent reduction in power i don't really feel it that much so let me know guys what you feel about it for me this is probably going to be my go-to hero for quite a while until i nudge things enough around the theme for the next batch of videos is going to be soldiers because i feel the new hero loadout is going to be the most complex for new players and soldiers are probably the favorites for new players so i wanted to look into how the different soldiers work so it's going to be coming um going commando style soldiers shockwave style soldiers snipers everything just coming quite <laughs> quite a bit of videos around the corner mainly soldiers to start out with then i am going to be expanding to other hero classes as well as time allows because you know it's 
we're closing in on the weekend and I have crazy amounts of silly work there. Besides that, 8.0 has landed like properly now. A lot of people have gotten their gift, checked out how the game has changed. What do you guys feel about it? And uh, I'm not as hyped about it as I thought I would be. We still have bugs with pickaxes and a lot of missions and uh, the game just doesn't feel as... I feel like I'm lacking a purpose now that I have literally everything in the game. But uh, yeah, perhaps my mind will change on that when I've had a few more days of gaming. That was pretty much what I had to share in this video guys. I hope you enjoyed as always. Thank you very much for watching and a massive huge thanks to everybody out there writing in Loka Hansen as an Epic Game support creator.